Okay, folks, welcome back. It's I, Royster Doister, out again in the thick of it in the central highlands of Vietnam. For you, the people. So, I know what you're thinking. Royster, where are you taking us today? Well, we're going for breakfast. We're going for um, coffee. And then we're going to get some glasses cut for Tui. And I'm on my way to Vinmart to pick up some delicious yogurt, which is essential for me. So let's go and check out Vinmart and hopefully, fingers crossed, they're gonna have my Dalat yogurt in stock. Oh yeah, by the way, this is Petticoat Lane, Fabric Street. Okay, here's the main street. Okay. There are, so, there are two main streets in downtown Pleiku. Um, this is kind of like the second main street, but it's the widest and most beautiful. And on here we have one of the main supermarkets, which is Winmart. So let's go check out and see what they've got in stock for Royster. Royster, let's go. Quick dash across the road. They are played like your style. Bacon, want that. Sausages, they're so so. And there it is, boys and girls, the golden ticket. That one's with sugar, and the light blue's without. That's the best yogurt you can get in Vietnam. Absolutely delicious. Highly recommend it. And also, their milk is really fantastic. Okay, okay, let's get a couple of these. Go. Stick them in a basket. Okay, let's head off and get some beer. Woohoo! Okay, so we've had a busy morning so far. Dropped off Maya, our three year old at kindergarten. And then we zipped baby Lana down to grandma's house. And then Trina jumped on a bike, zipped into the city, had some breakfast. Good morning. Uh, we had boon cha for breakfast, which is um, grilled meat with uh, noodles dipped in a vinegary sauce. Then we went for a cup of coffee up on the mountainside, and I'll slip a little clip of that here. Beautiful view this morning. Shitty coffee. The view was worth it. And now, we're in the city centre once again. It, the local opticians, the twees in there behind me, getting fitted for a pair of glasses. So she's already had her eyes tested. I didn't catch that stupidly. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Pink. Probably Is that the original one. ones I thought were good? They're they're good because it suits your hair color. Oh, I think I'll get this one. Sorry. Okay. Black, no. No, absolutely not. It's yes. the best, right? They're the best, yeah. Okay, honey, try them all again. Honey, yeah. look, look at this thing on my eyes here. Yeah. You see the different color? Right? Yeah. It's brown, right? It's dark, yeah. 
really annoying inside when look at something they got that color yeah. in the eyes. But when it outside, it's like silly glasses. Yeah, I know. But not the design, not the outside. So, why don't you get two pairs of glasses, one for indoor, one it's for ridiculous out? ridiculous price and one point something. So, what do you want to do then, boss? But a really annoying when standing inside with somebody with the, this color in their So eyes. just get plain glasses then? Of course, I chose the new frames for her because I know her face the best. Josh. So, I just found out the price. Um, Twee got a basic set of frames which I chose. They're like a slightly bronze color to match her skin and her hair. Um, those um, circular frame were thirty dollars, and the lenses themselves, just standard lens, were about eighteen dollars. So roughly, let's say fifty dollars US for a pair of glasses, eye test, and I think you can't complain with that. It's much cheaper than it was in Japan, and the quality seems quite good. So let's go with it. Go with the there are expensive glasses in there. there are, some of the frames are like fifty dollars more. There's some police. There's some um, Ray-Ban and stuff in there. I don't know if they're real or not. It could be fake. But there are plenty, plenty stores in the city you can just pick up any brand of glasses, like copies, for really dirt cheap.